The wait for Marvel Future Revolution is finally over. It arrived late last night in soft launch and you could play this game right now, but should you? Is this worth it? Is this worth your time? Was my hype level justified? Was it too high? Was it too low? Or was it just right, guys? I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this game, plus give you some tips to help you get started off on the right foot. Just some things that I've learned just playing over the past few hours to hopefully help you so that you uh, don't have to go through some of the same struggles that I did. And if you're ready for all that, guys, find that like button. And let's go smash it! Valley flying. Ah, yes! The hype level is very, very high. <laughs> I am Valley Flying. Welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, Marvel Future Revolution is finally here. I've been looking forward to this game for over a year, and it has finally arrived. Is it worth your time though? I'm gonna give you my impression of this game, plus give you some uh, some tips to help you start off on the right foot. Some tips that I have learned playing this game for a few hours, playing other games from Netmarvel, and uh, hopefully it helps you get started off on the right foot. Now, if you wanna get more great Marvel Future Revolution content and Marvel Strike Force content, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know as soon as a new video is released, but let's talk about this. Now, it is only available on Android in Canada right now. And if you want to start to play this, you can, but you're going to need to have an Android device. It's not going to be in soft launch on iOS. So, uh, yes, we went over that in the video yesterday, but you need to emulate. If you don't have an Android device, if you only have an iPhone like I am, you're going to need an emulator that's at least 64 bit. Uh, BlueStacks works. I, I prefer an uh, LD player a little better, but both of them work. As long as you have that 64-bit version, you're going to need a VPN. Uh, there's there's a bunch of VPNs out there. Uh, and then there's, you're going to need the APK. I'm going to put a link to all that stuff down below. And if you want to find out how to do that, I did a video on that yesterday. The link should be up there uh, in the description. But without further ado, let's go check out uh, the first tip. Now, uh, oh, now that's the shot. All right, so... Uh, button mapping is very, very important, especially if you're playing on an emulator. If you're if you're playing on an Android device, then don't worry, you'd have to skip this step. Uh, it, this game, it was designed to be played on a phone, on a device. There's a lot of swiping that you need to do. There's a lot of different buttons, a lot of different locations that you need to uh, reach things on in the screen. So you're gonna need to either map your buttons to a game controller, like I have done I'm using this game controller right here, or you're gonna to need to map your buttons with a keyboard. Now you can do this on both LD Player and BlueStacks. Uh, for LD Player, if you wanna use a controller, uh, there's these different icons you just drag and then you hit the button on your controller or on your keyboard. And that is that is how to do it. Very easy to do, it's, it's pretty simple. I think it's a little easier on LD Player uh, rather than BlueStacks. That's why I'm using BlueStacks instead of LD Player. But let's talk about the heroes. You get to select from eight different heroes at the beginning. As you can see, I selected Captain America. I also have Doctor Strange here, uh, Iron Man, and Storm. Now, if let's let's say Storm, I did not use her at all. Let's say I want to discard her and use a different hero, maybe a Captain Marvel or a Star Lord or someone else, a Spider Man. Uh, what I would do is I would hit this discard button, and then it's gonna stay in your account for three days, and then it's gonna go back to this level one. It, it doesn't matter at this point right here, but uh, I guess if you have worked on these characters. Uh, you get three days to cancel that out or it's going to be reset all the way to zero. Now, you can unlock different slots here. You're going to have to use some of the premium currency in the game to unlock different slots. But you got four that you could use right now and more. Not sure how this is going to be handled once you get more characters in the game. As you can see, there's only eight slots right here, eight characters in the game. Not sure if this is going to go up to nine as they start to add characters. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what you uh, can do. Now, which is the best character? I think at this point, there's gonna, they're they're all pretty good. You're not, there's not enough testing done. This game has not even been out for 24 hours. So I think they're all good. They're all gonna have their benefits. Uh, a lot of it is just uh, learning to play. Now, one character that I have heard was very good was Storm, but the initial character that I wanted was Captain America. I started off with Iron Man. That I, I was not sure how to use these characters. So I hit start, figured it'd be this lead one, but yeah, it, it's whatever you have selected, not necessarily a lead. So uh, use. Yeah, so, so make sure you have the right one selected. And what I would recommend, you have these squad ranks right here. Uh, this is like a global rank for your account. It gives your account different bonuses, all of your characters, different attack bonuses, defense bonuses, cooldowns, so your skills will cycle through a little quicker. Uh, this, I would get this as high as possible. So my recommendation, 
even though it may be fun to use a lot of different characters, uh, I would recommend sticking with one character to get the squad rank as high as you can, and then coming back and leveling your other characters. Uh, that that's I, I think that's the best way to go. Uh, you're going to get to try each of these characters in the prologue a little bit, so you get a kind of a feel which character the, uh, you want. And the good thing about that prologue is you get all of the skills active. You need to be, I think, I think level 15 is when you get all five of your skills active. But uh, yes, yeah, so let's go into the game and let's look at some different ways that you could upgrade your heroes and let's look at some gameplay as well. Uh, I, I, I like this game. There's so much to do. There's so much fun. And I have not experienced any bugs in this game so far, guys. Now, the good thing about this, now the, the tricky thing, like I said, there's a lot of these buttons. You can see some of the mapping of the buttons that I have right here with these uh, different skills here. Uh, the important one is this. This is the auto button right here. And as you click it, it goes on auto. It doesn't go on auto. This autos your skills. This autos you to the next mission. Very important button. Unfortunately, uh, it's not very intuitive. I, if I click on this, it'll hit the button, but it won't uh, actually go back to auto and not auto. So uh, that, that's one uh, thing that I wish was uh, fixed for the... For I, I wish this was a little more uh, player friendly for emulators, but this, this was designed to be a mobile game. All right. Uh, let's go to this section right here and to look at different ways to become stronger. Uh, there is a blitz mode in Marvel Future Revolution. It's not like the blitz mode in Marvel uh, Strike Force, though. Uh, this is where you're challenging these fun bosses. I'm having a lot of fun playing a blitz rotation here. Way funner than playing a blitz rotation in Marvel Strike Force, but it's a very different type of game mode. You could uh, get help from your friends. Uh, it is, you could combine... Uh, with other people it's a fun game mode skills you can upgrade your skills we're gonna look at this in a little bit uh look at your potential uh you got different cards you have uh pro you have progress for each of these characters as well there's different ways and then we have these omega cards so those are the ways that you could uh, improve your hero let's go look at this hero and uh, look at the different uh sections here now costumes are very important you could increase your character stats by these costumes and the way you do that is with these costumes right here these in this section right here won't necessarily change your look to change your look you're gonna have to go to this customize section and you could uh, customize whatever parts of these characters that you have unlocked but for these actual stat bonuses that you get as you can see this uh, uh helmet here has an attack of 120 and 6 this attack this one has a 120 and 6 this has a defensive pierce excuse me. oh this has a defensive piercing and this has more attack I went with this one, but uh, this this is the one that you get the bonuses from. Now, you can do whatever you want as far as the look, as long as you have those pieces uh, active. We have a few different helmets here. We have a few different pieces there. And then you could just change it. You could give them like this weird green shield here. You could give them this weird yellow costume. You could give them some, uh, some of these boots there. And then as you go down for these different themes, you got different uh, looks as well. So if you got these themes here, for this costume, this Captain America costume, you have all these different looks for these different colors here. I don't have all of them unlocked, so we can't use all of them, but uh, yeah, there's way different looks. And then if you want to change the look, you just hit that button right there. Very simple. And I like that you could switch the costumes and still get those stat bonuses. These are battle badges here. I would equate these more to like armor. Uh, and if you want to just equip these very easily, if you click the auto equip button, it's just going to equip the strongest one that you have. So. Really good stuff. You get a lot of those uh, badges from Blitz. I did a few Blitzes, got some badges there. Uh, your skills. You have a skill tree to uh, get up. And if you want to, and you could change your skills. This is your basic. This is your ultimate. And then all the rest of these are switch around. You could switch these around. You have five different skills that you could use. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to choose from between your characters. So if you wanted to choose a uh, switch a skill, Let's say I wanted, uh, let's say I wanted this one in there. So I would just go to this. I would click on maybe this skill here. And then I would change that to this one. And that's how I would put that in. But let's get that back in there. Let's uh, switch that and then put this uh, big uh, tornado in there again. I think, I think that's in there. No, uh, we got to go here. The tornado switch. And then now it's back. That's how we switch the skills. So very easy and we can upgrade them as you can see with this one you're getting a little extra defense you're gonna get for uh instead of 20 seconds you're gonna get for 21 seconds so uh different things each of these do different things each character has their own skill tree uh there's there's uh mastery that we saw from the korean uh, press conference as well so there's other ways that you could increase we got these omega cards very similar to marvel future fight if you've played marvel future fight in the past you got these cards you got common ones here. You got rare ones here. You got different star levels and uh, different star levels for these common ones. So 
Uh, you get a different fixed stat for each of these, and then you get a you get, as you start to upgrade these, you get better, you get different stats. So let's look for this rare one here. You have an exclusive uh, stat at level four. So as you start to upgrade these cards, you're going to get an extra stat. The fixed stat right here is the attack, and then uh, you're getting some extra levels as well. Uh, very cool stuff. This is this is a nice bonus. Uh, this is very collectible, and I think this is be heavily monetized, especially when you have to re-roll these cards. If you want to combine a card, uh, what you would do is uh, look for this one, and let's say you wanted to combine this one. You get uh, the rest of your cards that are at that same star rank with this. In this case, is level one. You go here, and you combine it, and then you're going to re-roll. You're not necessarily going to get the same stats. You might get better. You might get worse stats, but it's going to go up one star level. As far as the potential here, uh, you, you get to increase their attack your defense, your HP. I'm just doing an even build right now. I'm not sure if that's the best build. Obviously, as we get more time to play this game, we will uh, have better uh, 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 tips in order for you to progress. Now, as far as the squad, we were talking about this earlier, the squad info, and these are, these are different things that you got. You got attack going up, defense going up, HP going up, and your squad power. You could uh, increase that as well with these different stats here. And this is permanent for your account, not necessarily for your character. So uh, this is why I would recommend sticking with one character just to build that up. Obviously, if you're using other characters, you're still going to build your squad level. But uh, based on these achievements, I think it makes sense to I uh, use uh, just one squad at a time. You got your different titles here as well. You got some cool things like Ninja Warrior, Fist Finest, uh, Fiercest Foe, and they unlock as you go through different uh, places in the game. So. That is that is as far that is it as far as the basics. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you. Uh, you got friends in this game as well, and you got a bunch of different friends that you could request. You could send stuff, and yeah, we're getting a lot of friends here. So we're just gonna add everybody. We're gonna add everybody here, all these friends, and then uh, what we do with their friends. Uh, you could send them tokens and you could receive tokens. They could help you in missions, and then you also have an alliance right here. Still trying to figure that out. You also have an arena. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're still in the basic part of the game. So let's go do some gameplay here. Let's turn this on auto and then we're, we're going to do find some of the modified Ultron bots. All right. So we're going to go to a different place in the mission. This is how you travel between uh, different uh, places in the world. We haven't been to too many different locations yet. We're in New Stark City. Uh, that's kind of where you begin. And as we progress, we'll get to some of the other locations that we saw in the trailers all right we switched to different camos and now we're just gonna fight these enemies now what you what you want to notice is as i'm using my skills i'm trying to manage the cooldowns as you see there as you use a skill there's a timer that goes down when it when that timer goes away you could use that skill again and oh we got a we got a target captured all right where are our ultron bots that's actually not where we have to go this is this we're just fighting enemies here let's go to our mission here so we're just gonna skip all of those enemies we could continue fighting them if we want, but that doesn't progress our mission here. So we're going to go for our mission. There's a modified Ultron assistant. Oh my goodness. So one thing, like I said, you got to pay attention to is the button mapping. And oh, someone got some uh, good four-star gear. All right. So actually, we have this on auto. It's using our skills, uh, not as our plan. And there we go. So now we can start to uh, manage our skills, manage our cooldowns, uh, manage our dodge button. Our dodge button is the one right here. And if we hit that, Real quick, boom, you see it goes invincible for, uh, I'm not sure how many frames it goes invincible for. One of the big things in Marvel Future Fight, though, was managing these invincibility frames where you stay invisible for a few frames and that allows you to uh, go past some damage. It goes past some of the uh, the boss damage that is going on. Where's our next enemy? Here's our enemy. So as we see, we see these enemies with these targets over our head. These are the ones that's going to qualify for our missions because it's not just about killing enemies. We have to kill these certain specific Ultron enemies, and I'm not doing a very good job of managing my cooldowns and talking at the same time, but basically what you want to do as soon as a skill comes off cooldown, you want to start to use another skill, and as we learn more and more about these characters, we'll see which one have longer invisibility, invincibility frames, which ones have better skills that protect them a little more, and which ones uh, leave them vulnerable, and that's, that's probably what's going to determine which characters are good, which characters are not as good, but as far as right now, at least in the beginning part of the game, or uh, everybody starts to uh, get in and make these cheer lists of these characters. Uh, all, I think all of these characters are pretty good. 
uh, at, at least to start with. And then, uh, you know, having it allow you to have fun. You got some customization levels as well. Uh, you could choose to be more of a crowd control character. You could be more of a uh, single target damage character. We got one more enemy to defeat. And there he is. Let's use all of our skills here. Let's try to get a good run here for our cooldowns. There we go with that one. That one. Let's use our basic here while that one's cooling down. Then we go for the end. We're done. That is the mission there. That's kind of how these run. Uh, some of them are easier. Some of them are harder, obviously, when you're facing with some of these bosses, like a Kingpin or uh, like a big Ultron boss. You have a lot of a lot harder Ultrons. And then and then uh, as we turn on this auto again, we can go to our next mission. Boom. And it's just going to take us, have us running. So we can avoid these fights and not get uh, uh, into a long convoluted battle, which it doesn't really appear. All right. So that is another uh, mission that we're going to do. We're not going to do that one for the video, but I think that that should be enough starting tips to get you started off on the right foot obviously i'm going to play this more give you guys more tips uh but that is the gameplay as well so hopefully this video helped you decide if this game is for you if you want to check this out uh looking at some of the rank up that you can do some of the gameplay how that works and managing your skills i didn't do it very well in this video but managing your skills and your cooldowns of your skills is probably going to be one of the most important things in combat to make sure that you survive so guys in my mind those are the important things that i think you need to focus on making sure that you have your buttons mapped for whatever is the most efficient way for you to play uh if you're using an emulator uh knowing the different ways that you could rank up your characters and managing your cooldowns or your skills i think initially those are some important things that you could focus on and that is what i would focus on as a new player right now obviously there's going to be more videos coming with better new player tips more in-depth new player tips getting started off on the right foot but that should that should get you started off right now and i hope this helps you hopefully this video helped you decide if you want to play this game one way or the other i know i'm having a lot of fun with it and hopefully you do as well let me know your thoughts on the game let me know if you started or if you have any trouble uh there's gonna be some links to the official marvel future revolution discord where there's a lot of people in support uh, if you're having trouble with emulators and things like that and then make sure you check out my video from yesterday if you want uh, some tips on how to install that i will see you guys next time though we're going to do a news video for marvel strike force with remnex coming up later today and then we're going to be uh back on with the valley club in the morning tomorrow but maybe we'll do me a special bonus episode tonight live streaming i'm playing this thing so if i'm going to be playing this thing on my computer might as well live stream hopefully i'll see you guys there uh give me a fist bump before you go and i will see you guys next time have a great rest of your day hopefully you enjoy this game Check me out on uh, social media, and I will see you guys next time. Valley Flying, out.